Now let's take a look at problem number 23. In problem 23, we want to find the slope of the function f of x equals 1 over 3 minus 2x at the point p, which is located at negative 1, 1 fifth. Then we'd like to find an equation for the tangent line at the point p. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is we want to find the slope of this function at this point. So what we want to find is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a over h. And in this case, we know that a, that's an x value, and the x value we're interested in is negative 1. So let's go ahead and plug that in. We get the limit as h goes to 0 of f of minus 1 plus h minus f of minus 1 all over h, which is the same as the limit as h goes to 0. Now we need to know what is f of negative 1 plus h. So I need to take negative 1 plus h and plug it in for x over here. If I do, I get 1 over 3 minus 2 times x, but x is negative 1 plus h. Negative 1 plus h. Uh, so that's f of negative 1 plus h minus f of minus 1. But if I plug in minus 1 over here, I get 1 over 3 minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2, so 1 fifth. So minus 1 fifth all over h. Okay, I could make that look a little more clean. This is the limit as h goes to 0 of, what do we have here? This is 3 plus 2, which is 5. So we get 1 over 5 uh, minus 2h. So I just distributed that minus 2 and I get plus 2 and a minus 2h, minus 1 fifth, divided by h. OK, so the next thing I think we should do is let's get a common denominator and put these two fractions that are on the top right now together into one fraction. If I do, I get the limit as h goes to 0. Uh, the common denominator would be 5 times the quantity 5 minus 2h. So let's multiply top and bottom here by 5. And I'd get 5 over 5 times 5 minus 2h. And then let's multiply top and bottom here by 5 minus 2h. So I get minus 5 minus 2h over 5 times 5 minus 2h. So that's a common denominator. And then this is still all over h. If I combine those two guys now into one fraction, what I'm left with is the following. This is the limit as h goes to 0 of, on top I get 5 minus 5, but that's 0. And then I get minus minus 2h, which is positive 2h, divided by 5 times 5 minus 2h all over h. Now h itself is a fraction. It's h divided by 1. So I could just rewrite that h as h over 1. Now I'm ready to flip and multiply the fractions. So I get the limit as h goes to 0 of 2h over 5 times 5 minus 2h times 1 over h. Now there's an h on top and an h on the bottom. The h's cancel. And I'm left with the limit as h goes to 0 of, on top I have a 2, and on bottom I have 5 times 5 minus 2h. If h goes to 0, the negative 2h becomes 0. And I get 2 over 5 times 5, which is 2 over 25.
So the slope of this function at the point negative 1, 1 fifth is 2 over 25. Now let's use that information to get us the equation of the tangent line at this point. I know a point on the line. This is the point. I know the slope of the line. This is the slope. So I can combine those two things to get me uh, the equation of the tangent line. So let's do that. So I want to use the point slope equation of a line. And let's review again what that is. So the point slope equation of a line, we should just know it by heart, uh, is y minus y0 equals m times x minus x0. Where x0, y0 is this point. Here's my x0, here's my y0. And m is the slope that I just got, which was 2 over 25. So we plug things in and I get y minus y0, which in this case is 1 fifth, equals m, which we calculated to be 2 over 25, uh, times x minus x0, which in this case is minus 1. So I get that y minus a fifth is equal to 2 20 fifths x, and this is a positive 1. So plus 2 20 fifths. Now I could add a fifth to both sides, and I get that y equals 2 20 fifths x plus 2 20 fifths plus a fifth. Now, how many 20 fifths is 1 fifth? Uh, we'd multiply both top and bottom by 5, and I'd get that that's 5 20 fifths. So we get y equals 2 20 fifths x plus, this is going to be 5 20 fifths plus 2 20 fifths is 7 20 fifths. So the equation of the tangent line in this case would be y equals 2 over 25x plus 7 25.